welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a full face of makeup and answering y'all's assumptions about me. Let's get into it. Also, everything I use today will be linked on my Amazon storefront. A little eyelash serum to get started so my eyelashes don't fall off. Okay, I'm just going through all the assumptions that you guys asked me on my Instagram. Okay, assumption number one. <laughs> I feel like you're bad at math, but also same. Honestly, yes, this is very much true. Also, I always get asked about this product. It's the NYX Honey Do Me Up. I just put it all over my face before I start my foundation. It makes it like so glowy and very moist, if you, if you will. Okay, so back to the math thing. I really was never good at math. I got through like first through sixth grade pretty easy i would say but then once i hit algebra i was like oh no truly it was just never my strong suit i remember kind of like mentally giving up in geometry that's when i started rationalizing with myself like you know what c's get degrees period the second product i use it's the lumi lotion this is my holy grail product this combination together before your foundation is literally perfection it kind of gives me that fake tan vibe even though i'm not tan at all so we love it okay assumption number to you were an only child maybe i don't know did i give up only child vibes no i definitely was not an only child i have four other siblings i am second to oldest i have my older sister me my younger sister and then two younger brothers this is my foundation combo i use the elf halo glow and then this tinted hydrator elf halo glow is quite dark for my skin i ordered the wrong shade so that's why I mix it with this because this shade is a little bit lighter and it just kind of blends everything out. Yeah, I love my siblings and I was definitely not an only child. Let's move on. Your room was pink as a kid. Okay, this might be surprising, but it actually was bright purple. I will have to go back in the archives to find a picture. Yeah, it was literally bright purple and we had like zebra theme as well. Yeah, like all of our accent decorations were like zebra themed. I don't know why my mom went with that, but it was cute. It was definitely a vibe growing up. This is what I used to set my under eyes and kind of like my more oily areas of my face. It's technically just like a powder. I don't really use a concealer, but I think it looks pretty decent. Also, I have no idea if this is looking even blended because I'm doing this in my like camera mirror. So hopefully it looks good. Okay, next. You've never had alcohol before. <laughs> Let's get into the tea. Let's get into the tea. I'm trying out this new contour stick today. So hopefully it's good. Um, yes, I have had alcohol before. I had a margarita on my 21st birthday. That went fine. And then I had wine before and I don't really like wine a whole lot. Everyone's telling me like, oh my gosh, no, you have to give it time. You have to build up your palate. And I'm just like, mmm. I don't really feel invested in that journey like if I'm gonna drink it's gonna be something like very sweet and fruity and something where I like can't even taste the alcohol really I just don't enjoy the taste of it so even with that it's just kind of like why would I drink in the first place because I also don't enjoy the feeling of being drunk and throwing up after that's gonna be a no for me it's only happened once but I was scarred honestly this is blending pretty good I kind of like this if you guys can't tell I love drugstore makeup so this is my blush that I use it's just a little wet and wild blush and it unfortunately broke but that's okay okay next you're not waiting until marriage y'all came in with the hard-hitting questions I'm also gonna be trying out the highlight from the same brand See if it's good oh that's pretty wow that's strong okay Okay, now for the question, I definitely am waiting till marriage, and that kind of ties in with another question I saw of, like, you're a virgin or something like that, and yes, I am. I feel like that's kind of awkward to announce online, but, um, yeah, I'm proud that I'm waiting till marriage, and it's something that I am excited to share with my husband. Okay, honestly, I think that's really pretty. I like that. Okay. You've never gone past second base. What are the bases? Okay, let's see. You played sports. I feel like I get asked that so much because I feel like my body is just giving off like sporty vibes because I do hold a lot of muscle on my body. But the answer to that is no. Growing up, I was always like doing music, musical theater, piano, you name it, I did it. So it's not that I didn't have an interest in sports, but I just it just wasn't my priority growing up. The only time I ever played sports was, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> We went to this homeschool group every Tuesday, I think, and the boy that I liked at the homeschool group played football with his friends, and so I would always go play football with the boys because I liked him, and I was just like, I'm a sporty girly. Ah, so embarrassing. Okay, 
Okay, before we get into the next question, I always get asked about my mascara, so I want to tell you guys the rundown. So usually I just start with this mascara. It's called Jet Setter. I've never heard of it before, but it's pretty decent. I just like laying a foundation before I go in with this one, which is my favorite mascara, Lash Lift. Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline. Y'all, this stuff is so good. Okay, next. Your wedding will be over the top and all pink. Um, honestly, probably not. Don't get me wrong. I love pink. But I kind of want my wedding to just be like very classical, not classical, very classy wedding vibes. I think there's a time and place for pink, but my sister did like light pink bridesmaid dresses, so I kind of don't want to do that because she already did it. But I don't know. We'll see. Okay, next. Your vanilla ice cream over chocolate ice cream girly um honestly yes but also if there's ice cream involved i don't really care what flavor it is i'm just like period sign me up it is so hard to see what i'm doing holy cow why did i just say holy cow i never say that okay you cringe at myself if you had a choice to get a type of dog it would be a pomeranian um honestly i hope i don't offend anybody with this i am like a big dog type of girly i don't really love small dogs I think it's because we've always just had big dogs in my family growing up. Like we had a Dalmatian, a Lab, and then when I finally got a dog for myself, I got a Great Pyrenees. I don't have him in Texas with me just because when we moved, there was like no backyard for him because he's huge. So he's with my parents right now. But if I were ever to get another dog, it would definitely be like a big dog. Like I love Labs. Great Pyrenees. I originally wanted like a Newfoundland, but those ones are very slobbery. Little Rottweilers, like that's that's definitely my kind of dog. Pomeranians is like, yeah, they're cute, but it's just like not really my vibe. If you don't get mascara all over your eyelid, then you're doing it wrong. Okay. I love this journey for me. Okay, I'm just gonna set with this Make It Last Milani stuff. This is by far my favorite lip gloss ever. It's the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. I originally had the clear one and then that one ran out so I got the light pink one. And look at how shiny and beautiful that is. I also feel like it has a little bit of lip plumper in it because afterwards my lips just always feel a little bit tingly but it's not extreme at all. And here's a final makeup. This is just like my go-to everyday makeup when I want to like dress up then I put on fake lashes and sometimes I do eyeshadow. But that's it, and as always, please subscribe and like this video, and that's a wrap. Okay, bye!